Hello everyone, welcome to Stonehearth. So, it was requested that I would do a little bit of a tour around the city because it's starting to become quite big. We have a lot of houses, a lot of things going on. So I'm gonna go through our city and kind of talk a little bit about, about the place. So, at, over here with the red water we have our little harbor we started with. It's gonna go big over time. And over here we also made a beautiful little storage house and this one we keep all kinds of things and uh, we're pretty much flooding it with everything at the moment. Then a little bit of work has been done by the harbor for now and a bit of trading as well. We could imagine maybe there would be some chips visiting by, not only viking chips, maybe other viking tribes would visit and other, other traders from other parts of the world would go here as well. And that's why we have this crane house over here. So this is a place where we'll be able to load and unload cargo to ships a little bit easier. So we have a little bit of storage inside. And at the very bottom we also have some storage that we have to drain out. And we're actually going to do that pretty soon because there's a really really handy cool thing you can do with uh, stone hearth. So you can have the engineer do a copper water pump and pump away the water and then have gates and release it. So we can keep pumping it out and also later on we'll also get a new profession that can create the dry stone that with the magic dries out water. So then we proceed into town and here we have a couple of small houses. Some little hovels I guess you could call them. For some people that live here, a little cozy fire, they have their own little rooms, there's some workbenches and some of the rooms. And in this room we have a lot of pelts and a lot of different things that we need for doing a little bit of tailoring. So a lot of the smaller buildings has also been used as an at least a temporary production place. Like down here we have the herbalist working quite a lot at the moment. The herbalist is going to move into their own house later on, which is going to look like a really natural, beautiful area and there's going to be a lot of things growing there. But for now they're working down here near by the fire and we also have some beds upstairs and some beautiful roses and a plushy toy rabbit of course. And over here we have our fairly new building. This is our blacksmith building. And by the way, if you guys don't know, you can download my templates on the way as well on the Steam Workshop and use them in your own towns. So we enter through here and here we have a little desk. And that's where we can imagine there's like a merchant, a blacksmith, selling the newly crafted things. And I do see that I have to customize this a bit, so we're gonna change that to only have blacksmith equipment because that's the blacksmith that works in here so we only have we only want to have blacksmith things on those and on these ideas that we will be having a little bit of ores for example so the good that we're visiting here is we can set up what we want to have and this one we can have quite a bit of fuel and also the blacksmith lives up here and we have another room over here a small one then we have a little stair to go up here and got a herbalist tending some plants so it's pretty nice so now like some little cozy place for a blacksmith. Then over here we head over to uh, the shepherd's place. Not really their home, but uh, where their friends live. So here we have some chickens, laying some eggs, and being a beautiful little friends. So that's nice. And then we have a few smaller buildings as we keep continuing. Because we're using a lot of them. So here we have another weaver in that one. Here we have some weaving as well. It's a little bit spread out for now and a little bit of cooking down here. But since we're making a new house, we're making a master cook house, I guess you could call it. We might be moving these out, but at the same time it could be maybe nice potentially to have them sometimes cook their own food as well. And for now we have the mason working down on that one. And maybe we can do a, like um, a couple of tents with some workers temporarily before they have their own real profession houses. And the main roads leads up to our great hall, our big big building. And in this one we have a lot of chairs, we got flowers, we got a little place here for our Lord and Savior Banto, where he can sit and talk to his people of our town. And they can enjoy a hot cup of coffee as well. A hot cup of tea, I mean. So that's pretty delicious and I hope they're gonna remove that rotten food we don't want it to be there. So that's pretty cool. And if we head outside, a little bit to the edge of the town on this side, then we have our sawmill, 
with a big big chain blade up there and on the inside we have a little shop and this one also has to be customized we only want to have a carpentry in these so it's both for the visual thing that we want to have that but also because it's easier for the carpenter to deliver to whatever the craft nearby right so that's good but it's good that we're visiting now because now i can set up them to hold specific items So that's pretty good, so that's the carpenter's little area for now, and we have a few workbenches outside that we can actually remove. We don't need that, we don't need that, because we have them out there, and this one we can just move up to the very top, because I don't think we have that one. And we can have that one, yeah, over here, would be pretty good. And the, those we are also gonna be moving pretty soon as well. And uh, then we have uh, some little cows over here. So Northern Moo Moos, and uh, we don't have a gate yet, so we probably should be adding that one. It's good to have this little overlook of our town, because you guys can get to see what we got. But also for me to be able to go back and fix the things that i forgotten. So here we have to add some pieces of fence as well, and I think this one will suit very nicely here. There we go. This fits very well. Awesome. So that's that, and then if we go this way... And travel along the road down here next to the blacksmith we head over to one of our biggest buildings in town might even be the biggest one actually here we have like a little training ground outside and where archers can practice and also soldiers can stand here and practice so archers might stand over here shoot them footmen might stand over here and knights and hit those targets and on the inside here that's a long house a really long one and inside of here we actually have a brewer table, we got some presents, and we can also do some leavening table. And oh, I did not e even know this thing, so that's good, I found a thing I didn't know about. So in this leaving table, that's where you leave a dough to grow over time, overnight. And you have to set up what you want to have there, so I'm just gonna go for everything for now. And we have a little fireplace in the middle to keep it warm a little bit of cooking here as well some beds elevated up on some good good wood and also one of these nice little sleeping areas I really really love these I think they're called lofts or something like that right it's really really nice when you have like a second store that they can go up for a staircase and just enjoy a little bit of sleep and this one got Finna Sobby sleeping in that one and I don't think this person is named to do let me know if you want to name in the game because I think I have a few more names available, so do let me know if you want a person in the game. And then over here, this is one of our newest creations. We got some little archway that we go under, then we get to the back side of our little park. And this is where we find our deer standing over here in the park, and we're gonna be adding a lot of things here soon. I hear there's a battle in the background somewhere, we can have a look soon. So over here we also have a gate, and this is going to be our, I guess you can call it secondary gate, it's not going to be our main gate. But I do like how this one ended up, we put out some banners as well to scare away the goblins, because we defeated their friends before, so we are showcasing that, don't go here. And then we have a little bit of ducks here as well, that one's looking kind of cute. And uh, over here we also have a bit of farming, which is very temporary. It moved here after we had it down by the harbor before. So this house I really really like because it got both a practice ground. They also have their own animals, so animals are living close to their people. And then down here we also have a bridge. This is where we reach the other side. And that's where we have find this orc going over the bridge it seems. But he will have to wait. He's chasing Banto. The long floating hand of the law. I never seen that title. I have to read that soon. And then we go over here, and that's kind of where it ends for now. And that's where we're building a lot of palisades. And we planted out our house, that's gonna be for the cook, this is our very very latest building in town. And we're gonna lock off this area soon, and we're gonna build a real great grand gate over down here later on. Most likely down here, it could be there, but I think I'm gonna align it with the bridge. And then it's gonna be a lot more harbor there, and the harbor at this side as well. So, a lot of activity around the river. Okay, so let's see the battle. We got an ogre in the middle of town. Daurig Rockfro. Okay, let's get him. So, I hope you guys enjoyed a little view over the town because 
It has grown quite a lot since we got started with this. So it can be nice to revisit. And I did find a few spots that I needed to fix up, so that's awesome. I'm gonna start to grow for that tree. It doesn't have to grow bigger than that. So these guys really wanna break our doors. I think they might have already broken it. It's kinda hard to hinder them, but this door actually have a lot of health, so we were able to save the door this day. I might be more worth to take out the little wolves first. I think they hit pretty hard, but they have pretty weak health. Okay, let's go with that one. Going down, Mr. Greenskin. Ooh, look at that outfit, by the way. Look at any near outfit. Beautiful. He's grabbing some honey, Fabian. That's sweet. Very nice. I think they're dead. You don't have to slash again. <laughs> uh, but one thing I do think we need a lot more of. I think we need a ton more storage. Because you can see overall... Oh, everywhere, pretty much. We have a lot of clutter lying around. So, uh, we should do like a little treasury, which we can actually do inside the mountain. I, and I totally forgot to show you that. So, this is a mountain gate we have worked on as well. We are a little bit stuck on this one for now, because we I can't craft these. So, I will hope that we can buy them later on. Or potentially unlock the craft for them. And also yellow banners. But inside of here, we have a few things going on as well. So you get through here, a little passage, and this is like an an old abandoned dwarven kingdom, pretty much. There used to be a town here. That's what we're pretending at least. And in here for now we're doing some mountain vinegar and maybe some mountain mead and so on. So it's gonna be like the mountain brewery, I guess. It's gonna be a lot of stuff made in here. And also, we used to grow some mushrooms, which we can actually do again. So that's nice that I'm revisiting things, because now we can grow some parasols. And those we can use in foods, so that's pretty awesome. So this one, let's go for Sweet Tooth. And they grow very quickly. The other ones, we need to find some seeds to grow. And chanterelles, that's a delicious mushroom, I love that though. Daily update. Ooh, there's some pretty cool things they're selling. Clay monkey statue. Doesn't really fit in in our town. But that's some beautiful, beautiful decorations. Sims paw. I'm gonna buy two of those. They might fit in here. Some beautiful, beautiful furniture. Ah, oh, some... Let's buy a little bit of clay. So we don't have to go mine that. And let's send in maybe a few merchants. Ah, they might still be on cooldown. Okay, but yeah, storage. Let's try to fix that a bit. So, the blacksmith has some really good storage that we can make. So, we've got the blacksmith. And then we look for storage. So, I have a mod, this one. It's called, I think it's called Tilly's Huge Chest or something like that. This one allows 1024 items. And this is the original 256. Um, and I'm thinking of maybe making this one, but we have to level up our blacksmith, so... It's gonna take a while. We could uh, re-promote maybe our engineer, I guess. Let's see, maybe we do that. Level 4, can okay, we going up in levels, so that's pretty good. Fabian, oh he's almost level 2, you don't wanna promote someone when you're almost leveling up, because whenever you promote someone, they lose the experience they've gained in that level. So, we, we at least want to wait to level 2. Uh, but other things, we can look into leveling. So, if you're level 4, you want to craft level 4 craftables, because that's the way you get the most amount of experience points. So, it would be a good idea to focus on that. And I do think the Iron Banish chests are really beautiful. Uh, this level free craft, but I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do even, ah, let's go six. But that should give a bit of experience points and also be useful. And yeah, we can do some tinning gods. That should reward a lot of experience. And uh, let's then do ten of those. 
Okay, that's good. I did sell a level 4, okay, so we can do 4 of those as well. A herd of caribous heading for your farms. Scary, scary caribous. I wonder if they can reach us. Ah, it looks like they may, might, yeah, they, they're gonna take the ladder maybe, let's see. Ah, they found their way. Okay, let's enable combat for our soldiers. They wanna eat up our farms, so we gotta go and hunt them down with them. Um, Arrows and swords and spells, I guess. Fireballs, burn them up. <laughs> and this all happens if you play with the Northern Alliance, by the way. There is some wildlife that try to claim your farmlands because there's a limited amount of food in the Arctic biome. So they are trying to take what they can take. But yeah, to prevent that from happening again, we could just do a little, little building. So if we just cover... We only need to cover the middle, actually, but let's cover this. Build that. There we go. So that should be easy. And perhaps we can start to build uh, this building over here. I feel like this one is pretty much ready to be built. And then we can work on the outside later on. Yeah, let's build this one. So, moss rug and a few different things. I think the moss rug was pretty easy to do. But that should be a good position. And then we make a, like a nice little boards, a little bridge over here. That they can walk on. That's gonna be nice. Maybe there's some chips in here as well. But it would be hard to get in with those chips. But maybe there's some smaller boats inside. Maybe, maybe some like fishing boats. So we are like trying to like create like there's a life going on in the city and i feel like we should combine the road to this one maybe both here and here and for now i think i'm gonna move this one away and maybe we should have it where we had it before so it was around let's see maybe over there And maybe later on we can put that up on a big, big pillar, like make a cool monument or something of it. That could be awesome. But now let's uh, connect um, the road with this one. So I'm just gonna go, maybe not directly from it, maybe after we are gone in like one tile or something. And we can go like that, very, very basic. Add a few little colors. It's like a dirt road. And build that one. And this is such a small part, it's really, really easy to adapt and change it later on. So, I also want to combine it with here, but um, over here I don't exactly know how I want to have it, so... We're just gonna do a temporary solution for this. Later on we will change this, because I, I want to make this more special entrance there. So now it's at least gonna be like connected, and that's good. And um, I think we're gonna do a couple of few more temporary things. So we're gonna continue with roads. And this time we're gonna make a road that goes outside of the bridge. And this one is just gonna go straight down. And um, we can do a little bit of coloring. We don't really need to do that for this one. Because I'm most likely gonna be changing it later on anyway. But a little bit, I guess. Yes, we can get around a little bit quicker in town. And we might want to make it go to the side as well, and we do them as separate buildings. Because that way we can remove one part at a time. This one we're gonna go... Ah, uh, maybe not like that. Start from here. And uh, maybe only two in width for this one. Or we go from here, yeah, we can go from there. Or 
Okay, so now we should be a little bit more connected with our road. It should be a little bit quicker to get around. So that should be awesome. And the, yeah, let's see, have we gotten any of... Let's smooth that one up. I'm kind of leaning towards like getting another blacksmith. I don't know if that's a good idea. Because if I'm going to keep the engineer, I might want to have another blacksmith. And we don't have to have two blacksmiths all the time, right? So we can just do it whenever, uh, whenever we need it. So Heath with Magnificent Beard. I'm going to make you a second blacksmith. That the beard is going to... Maybe it's going to burn up, but it's going to look pretty cool on a blacksmith. And uh, our soldiers can help with buildings. So that's fine. Just gonna make sure we have it turned on so they can help with that. So there we go. All of our soldiers can help with building. So that's awesome. That's gonna allow it to go quite a bit quicker. And uh, I think we're gonna add a few palisades as well. Just to kind of imagine how it can look over here. And now that we have a road, it's gonna be a little bit easier to see that as well. So I'm gonna start with a big piece. And I'm gonna put this one... I think like that. And when we're getting closed over here, we're gonna do smaller pieces. So now we're going to start with smaller ones, because that means we can remove whatever we need. So we can see here, this is not centered for now. So we will have to do it a little bit custom here, but that's fine. So I'm thinking that we take uh, this one. We have uh, free and whiff on the road. Maybe we push this one out a bit, like so. And uh, we can use this as like a starting point for our gate. And this is going to be a big, big gate, a big one. So let's start by removing a bit. And it's going to be a strong, a powerful gate. It's enough, nothing you just break down really easily. It's going to be a really strong gate. And it's also going to be protected. It's going to have, um, I think it's going to have turrets on top as well. So it's going to be really defensive at the same time. And here we can make it, uh, maybe, let's make it even a little bit bigger. Let's make 7x7. Seven seven. So let's look into the doors. Um, I saw we can do some uh, portcullis. So I think they are the same, but I think the one that I saw before, I think it was called bronze portcullis. To be able to see that one, I actually have to demote our engineer. He's level 2 now, so that's fine. Because you can only see the things that um, you're able to craft with the profession. But uh, let's make another blacksmith hammer. So we have another tool available. But I think there's one that is like um, 5 in width. If there is the one that's five, what we would do instead is to potentially use two portcullis. Because that's also an option, right? So uh, we would have used two of these. And they are four in width. So it would be like one block in between them, it would be like this pretty much. Because I want it to be centered and I, I don't just want it to be a door. And these are a bit special because I don't think if I drag this here, you'll see it creates like a hole. How high up do we have to be? Okay, let's try the next one. I think the next one is enough. Yeah, there we go. So in the middle, we're also gonna have one of these. And I might make it like that. Push this one up. There we go, like so. And uh, I think over here we should uh, be able to do one of those. Yes, we can. And to make this look better, what we're gonna do is we're gonna extend over here. 
So it covers. We don't want that to be visible. And we can add a bit of wood to this, but it's gonna look like it's gonna look really, really strong. That's the main idea I have with it. And also a little bit like that. Create more a bit more depth to it. That's pretty nice. Very nice. And uh, let's see, this one, that might be where we stand on. So let's recolor this. Pretend that there's some wood up on this one. Maybe like that. And uh, we could maybe, maybe have it like that here as well. I'm not sure, I don't really think that looks very good though. I think over here we're gonna have so we can go out. I wonder if we can see turrets. I don't think we can see them in here. I really wish we could. But I think they take 3x3 three three, if I remember. I don't think it's 4x4. Four four. Pretty sure it's 3x3. Three three. So I'm just thinking that we can have like a turret sitting out here. So maybe if we make it one wider on each side like so. Then it can sit perfectly there in the middle right? And maybe we can change the color where it's gonna be. And I think we can have it should be fine, I think, to have it like that. And we have to be able to get up here as well. So I think we make two staircases. So there we go, now we can get up on the gate and shoot it and rain down some arrows. Awesome. Okay, that makes it look a bit better. I think it's potentially a bit much stone on this one. Uh, but yeah, might be pretty good like that. And uh, let's change the color of the staircase. go get up on that one I feel like it we should do something with the coloration over here I think it's a bit too much of the same color uh, maybe we can use this reddish brown because I think we have to break it up a bit yeah let's go like that and maybe we can throw some shields on this, because it's got some perfect spot for shield. Yeah, that's pretty good. And we definitely should have some banners hanging here, I think. I really, really like the yellow banners. Maybe we can have them hanging there, and then we push these down a bit, like so. I think that looks pretty pretty okay and maybe we do every second one a little dot like that gotta break up the color a bit and then the idea here would be that we add palisade to each side of this like so but we have to do a little bit more work but now that we have that put out it's gonna be a little bit easier to design this one, I think. So we're gonna do break up the gray colors a bit at least. Okay, I think we have broken up the colors a bit. Maybe the sides here needs a bit as well. Okay, I think that's much better. Very nice. Okay, that's been pretty good. I think I want to have like a roof on this one, like we have over here, right? Beautiful, beautiful roof. 
So I'm gonna do that on this one as well. And it doesn't have to be like a huge roof, like not the super tall one at least. And the reason for this is that if we're gonna be guarding here, it might be guarding for a long time, right? We want to be able to be able to stand it without being hurt too much by the weather over the course of time, right? And let's see if we do it like that. It might be a bit higher than the other ones. Okay, let's experiment with this idea. So let's get some roof colors. So there's a little bit of a difference of um, distance here. So let's go back a bit. So what we can do with this one is to make the middle a bit thicker, potentially. Yeah, it, it will have to be that really, if you're gonna do kind of similar one. So I think a turret should be able, able to stand here because it can look through there. And that might be a bit on the risky side. So I'm gonna just try to have this height, but this might be a bit much. Or maybe it will be perfect so people can get up on the staircase. But let's give this a go. Because we have it like that, we can have this one as the end. Then we continue, then we go on the top. And then we have that. And the middle we can change a bit if we want to. I would like that. And then let's see what we did with this one. So we're gonna have those at the very ends. That color is going on those. And you know, maybe, maybe. Let's see. Let's do a little bit of coloration. Let's really go random and try to find the, where the color is going to be. And then throw in a bit of very, very bright green. To break it up. I just think it looks very nice like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. I still think we need some more decorations for it though, so I don't think we're done with that. And I'm thinking of the sides, maybe we should cover them a bit. Like so, yeah. And here as well. If people for whatever reason come from the inside, we have a bit of protection on there. And it looks better, I think. Okay, I'm, I'm actually pretty satisfied with that, how that looks. Let's see, should we do anything else from this one? Uh, maybe if we do that thing with the like, they had they had like a palisade outside kind of, so it would be like that, and there would be a few of these sitting here. I don't know if this is a good idea, but uh, we had it kind of on that one. I think it might might be in the way, but maybe at the sides here we can have some. Nah, let's go without it. Okay, I think that makes it a little looks a little bit more powerful that way. Okay, there we go. So, we got a lot done on it, and I'm not done with this ones. So I'm gonna think a little bit until the next episode, and uh, then I will uh, either keep working on it on the next episode, or I will show what I've done with it. Uh, but I hope you guys like our new gate. I think it's gonna be quite a defensive position in our city. And do let me know if you have some ideas of 
things you think that maybe we should be adding or changing and so on to our town and I hope you guys enjoy the tour of the town as well so hopefully that was a nice thing to see that but guys thanks for checking out today's episode if you enjoyed feel free to leave a like and also thank you to my members here on youtube as well super duper kind of you guys and i hope to see all of you guys soon soon again so thanks for watching and have a great rest of the day take care